Hi, in this screencast I will share with you how to get started with machine learning.net, a machine learning tool from Microsoft. In this screencast we will look at the following topics. What is machine learning.net, installing machine learning.net command line utilities, and creating your first model with machine learning.net. Machine learning.net is a machine learning tool developed specifically for .NET developers. It offers a standard toolset to train, evaluate, and use machine learning models in .NET applications such as ASP.NET Core or WPF. With machine learning.NET, you can create regression models, classification models, recommendation models, and forecasting models right from C Sharp. When creating a machine learning model, you usually perform the following steps. First, you load the data from disk. Next, you prepare the data. Then you train the model. And finally, you evaluate the model using one of the metrics provided by machine learning.net. What's cool about ML.net is that you can use automated machine learning instead of performing all these manual steps. The command line to utility automatically searches for models for you and chooses the best model after training for a little while. Let's take a look at how to build a machine learning model using machine learning.net. First, we're going to install the machine learning.net command line utility, and then we'll use the utility to train a model and build a project around it. Of course, since we're building a .NET project, you will need .NET Core installed on your machine. If you haven't got it yet, you can get it from the website. Now let's open up a terminal and install the machine learning.net tool on your machine. You can use the command .NET tool install -g mlnet to install the utility on your machine. To demonstrate how ml.net works, I'm using a car mileage dataset. If you're interested in more machine learning datasets, you can get them from the UCI dataset collection. The UCI dataset collection is a great collection of tight datasets and even more serious datasets that you can use for machine learning. I can highly recommend this dataset collection in case you want to learn more about machine learning or if you're looking for a toy dataset to try out on a new tool. So let's get back to our project. We're going to use the ML.NET command line utility to train a regression model based on the car mileage dataset. Basically, we're going to predict the car mileage based on the properties of a car. So let's get back to the terminal. We're going to fire off the ML.NET utility to train a regression model. For this, we're going to use the mlnet command. Basically, what happens is that we train a regression model based on our dataset that we downloaded using the first column in the dataset as a label column, while the other columns are used as inputs for the model. Training will take a while, so I suggest you get a cup of coffee and enjoy the ride. After training is finished, you will get a trained model, a sample project, and a model project that you can use to host the model inside your own ASP.NET Core application or other .NET Core application. When you open up the solution that's generated by the ML.NET utility inside Visual Studio Code or Visual Studio, you will see two projects. The first project is the model project. This project contains the trained model as a zip file alongside a few classes that model the input and output for your model. The second project in the solution contains a sample application that you can use to learn how to use the trained model in your own application. As you can see, it's pretty easy to generate a machine learning model using the ML.NET command line utility. And it's also pretty cool that they've included a sample application to show you how to integrate the machine learning model into your own project. In this video, you saw me download and install the ML.NET tool to create machine learning models. If you're interested in more machine learning model data, you can go up to the UCI dataset collection and download a wide range of datasets from this location free of charge. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.